हेलो एंड वेलकम टू ग्रामा क्लास टूडेज टॉपिक इज सिंथेसिस ऑफ सेंटेंसेज इन दिस पार्ट आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन हाउ टू कम्बाइन सिंपल सेंटेंसेज इन टू अ कॉम्पाउंड सेंटेंस वेल द वर्ड सिंथेसिस मीन्स ज्वाइनिंग ओ कम्बाइनिंग सो इन इंग्लिश ग्रामा सिंथेसिस इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ कम्बाइनिंग टू ओ मो सिंपल सेंटेंसेज इन टू अ न्यू सेंटेंस विच मे बी आइदर अ सिंपल सेंटेंस ओ अ कॉम्पाउंड ओ कॉम्प्लेक्स सेंटेंस यू मे रिमेंबर दैट इन ग्रामा अ सिंपल सेंटेंस इज वन दैट हैज ओनली वन फाइनाइट वर्ब वाइल अ कॉम्पाउंड सेंटेंस कंसिस्ट ऑफ टू ओ मो इंडिपेंडेंट ओ कोडिनेट क्लोजेस विच आर ज्वाइंट बाई कोडिनेटिंग कंजंक्शंस सो वी अंडरस्टैंड दैट इन सिंथेसिस two or more such simple sentences are combined to form a new compound sentence but mind you we must recognize the coordinating conjunctions to identify compound sentences so it's clear now that we can combine or join two or more simple sentences with the help of coordinating conjunctions to form a compound sentence so it's important to identify the coordinating conjunctions well and not confuse them with subordinating conjunctions there are four types of coordinating conjunctions namely cumulative adversative alternative and elative we may combine simple sentences into a compound sentence by using cumulative coordinating conjunctions these conjunctions denote addition for example and as well as not only but also both and etc in the first example the two simple sentences are the sky was overcast and a cold wind was blowing we are combining these two simple sentences by using the cumulative coordinating conjunction and the sky was overcast and a cold wind was blowing this is a compound sentence next we have three separate simple sentences we cheered we sang we danced and we are combining them into a compound sentence by using the coordinating conjunctions not only but also and and we not only cheered but also sang and danced adversative coordinating conjunctions such as but still yet however nevertheless whereas etc denote contrast or opposite ideas by using this type of coordinating conjunctions also simple sentences are combined into a compound sentence he was ill and he went to school are the two simple sentences in the first example together they convey a sense of contrast so by using the adversative coordinating conjunction still we are combining them into a compound sentence he was ill still he went to school he is poor and he is happy are two simple sentences conveying opposite ideas so by using the adversative coordinating conjunction nevertheless we join them to form a new compound sentence he is poor nevertheless he is happy and then we have alternative or disjunctive coordinate conjunctions that indicate a choice between two alternatives or otherwise else either or neither no are examples of alternative coordinate conjunctions work hard and you will fail are the two simple sentences in the first example they indicate a choice between two alternatives so by using the alternative coordinating conjunction or we combine them into a compound sentence work hard or you will fail he is not intelligent he is not hard working are two negative simple sentences here so we are using the alternative pair conjunction neither no to combine them into a compound sentence he is neither intelligent no hard working finally we have elective conjunctions to combine simple sentences into a compound sentence these coordinating conjunctions denote inference or consequence so therefore for hence are some elective coordinate conjunctions he is unwell he will not play are the two separate simple sentences here 
the relative conjunction so is used to combine these two sentences he is unwell so he will not come he will not come is the inference o consequence here next the two simple sentences are none can live forever and man is mortal here the first sentence shows the inference or result so we combine them by using the coordinate conjunction for none can live forever for man is mortal interestingly sometimes a comma or a semicolon is used in place of a coordinating conjunction to combine two or more simple sentences into a compound sentence in the first example a semicolon is used in place of the coordinating conjunction o the semicolon is joining the two independent o coordinate clauses of the compound sentence here do not run fast you may fall however we cannot combine more than three simple sentences by using a comma or a semicolon the lion chased the deer jumped upon her pinned her down and tore her to pieces that's the end of today's class if you liked the video please be sure to like comment and share and please do subscribe to my channel for more grammar videos thank you so much